Hi John, if you've had a new fan of an element fitted by a gentleman, you may have a problem with one of the other components on the cooker which he was unaware of. Now I'm showing you the wiring diagram here so I can talk you quickly through it. I will also put links in the description on this video to the appropriate videos for you to check the selector switch timer and the fan of an element properly. Uh, here is the connection block at the back of the cooker. Uh, the numbering sequence might be slightly different on your cooker, but normally you have line one or line two, which will be the live feed, and the neutral feed will be on N1. Now, if we follow the wire coming out of the connection block, that goes down to a thermostat or a cutout thermostat. It doesn't say if it's a thermostat or cutout thermostat. Uh, this is basically a 145 degree stat, and it will go open circuit if the cooker ever gets too hot. This then comes out on line two or wire two and goes all the way down to the timer on the cooker. Uh, also, the neutral wire comes through to the cooling fan, then goes to the selector switch on terminal four, comes out on wire seven and then goes to the timer. If you put a multimeter on N and L on the timer, you should have 240 volts. There is also another thermostat on the cooker. This thermostat is designed to turn the cooling fan on and off at a temperature of 85 degrees. This basically keeps the electrical side of the cooker cool and stops anything from overheating or becoming dangerous. Now, the two common problems that will occur with this cooker if you've had a new element and the cooker is still not working, either you have no power to the cooker at all, so you need to check across line one and the neutral to make sure you've got 240 volts. Then you need to check the timer on L1 and neutral to make sure you have 240 volts. If you have 240 volts on both of these occasions, you may either have a problem with the timer or the selector switch. And as I said, I've put links in the description below to assist you with some other videos to help you. Uh, and I'll also put a link to this FAQ where all the parts are on the FAQ for you with an exploded diagram of the cooker as well so you can find the right component. I hope this assists you. Thanks very much for sending your question in.